guys welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today so today after quite a few requests i've been asked could i show you my craft room i don't actually have my own craft room anymore i gave it up so one of the girls could go in there it was a very small room and to be quite honest i've got more room where i am now so i share my bedroom with my as my craft room but it's fine i'm more than happy i've got everything i need around me so i'll just give you a little nosy around this is just a cupboard on my landing before you go into the room i have this cupboard here which has got uh, four shelves so i've got dies stamps embellishments journals that i've made uh, more dies and stamps down the bottom is all my fabric and on the very bottom it's more stamps and paper pads six by six paper pads there's a couple of baskets of those in there okay i'm going to try and not make you dizzy now so i'm going to just go in into the bedroom so before we go in i've got this big cupboard here shelving unit here as you walk in i've got cards and envelopes at the top they were from when i was card making then i've got lots of paper bags and a couple of random tins of deodorants i don't know why they're there but they are then i've got all my stamps that have come with magazines that i've bought over the years just ones that i'll use mostly floral and vintage stamps well vintage themed stamps then as we go down i've got another basket of stamps and i've just got some pens i've got some clay and then down there is a uh, shelf with all my envelopes on yeah i really need to go through them and organize them a little bit better so that's as you walk into my room right i'm just going to turn the camera a little bit i might make you a bit dizzy i'm trying to go slow i just need to get in the room and shut the door over right okay so i'm going to stand back a bit so i've got a 12 cubed kallax unit so on the first i'm not going to go too close because i'll make you sick on the first shelf there are all my books for junk journaling flowers uh, all my edith holden books just all my books are on there the next one along is all my stuff i use for junk journaling uh, sheet music squared paper graph paper lined paper um, just bits and bobs i've got some index cards and some postcards there then moving along at the back of this, this um, at the back of this, what do we call it, shelf hole, whatever it is, I've got a load of ribbon and, and different threads that I don't really use that much. Then I've got a basket of stamps that I do use, mostly floral stamps. And then there's a basket of ephemera that I haven't been making over the past, well, for a while really, I just keep putting it in that basket there. Okay, and on the end, I've got some printer paper, a um, couple of folders, some big envelopes, watercolour card, acetate, vellum, all like speciality bits there. Like, let's just go down a little bit. So the next shelf down is my 12 by 12 paper pads. I've got two holes with all them. I need to go through them as well because I just don't use all them. I don't need them all anymore. Then moving across is my A4 patterned papers and uh, eight by eight pattern papers kits that i've bought when i was card making and whatnot are all in there and then on the end is a basket another basket of stamps that i use and then there i've got all my sizzix dies that i use in that little um space there i've also got some books behind those two baskets and then moving down again is more books full shelf full of books again and then I've got a box of file folders that I ordered in from America in that brown box there. This is my favourite. It's one of my favourite baskets. This I'm just going to get a bit closer and then I can pull it out for you. I'm rubbish at this. This is all my sort of lace doilies and tablecloths and, you know, bits that I've been collecting over the, the last year really are all in there i love that basket that's one of my favorites so that's that one the next one is a big basket i'm just going to try and i don't want to drop it this one is all my etsy kits you see there i'm not going to lift it all out but they're all in there that i've printed off this one has got like hessian papers um cardboard just bits and pieces that i use occasionally and then the very bottom I've got a basket of wooden stamps that I use and some 12 by 12 papers. Then I've got another basket that are full of different papers that are from Etsy as well. And then this one is all my coloured cardstock. The majority of this is from when I was 
card making but you know I can still use some of it I'm gonna have a big sort out and do a de-stash I think and get rid of a lot of stuff and then on the end I've got a big basket that's got all my adhesives in and then a little container that's got some tissue paper in all my different go tissue around a bit paper. slowly and then here at the side I've just got my trolley and this one just houses all my acrylic paints I've got some pastels and bits at the bottom there but the majority of it is all acrylic paints and my paint brushes and that at the top I'm sorry if there's a glare there right I'm gonna to have to try and get up really slowly and I'm gonna to walk to where my desk area is right I'm gonna start here so I've got one of these tower drawers there's ten drawers there I've got my printer on top I'll give you a quick nosy what's in them the first one is all my embellishment mousse and glimmer paste and I've also got some gilding polish at the back of there so that's that one the next one is all my mica powders and some of the little memento inks there The next one is my mixed media drawer. It's got all my gesso, my texture paste, uh, crackle gel. Um, what else have we got in there? Grit sand texture paste. Just all my gel mediums. That's all my mixed media drawer there, which I use quite a lot. Then this one is my all my embossing powders and bits to go with embossing. They're all in that one. I love this drawer unit. I've got some punches that I use in that drawer, you know, I've got some more punches but I've had to sort of just get out the ones that I use because I don't have storage for them all. And then the next one is, this is just bits and bobs in here, a couple more punches and a few of my Tim Holtz bits that I had nowhere to put. Um, this is my favourite, I've not used this yet, I'm going to have to do a couple of videos on these. You know, the collage rolls, the Tim Holtz collage rolls. I've got those. Right, let's go down a little bit more. I hope I'm not making you dizzy here. This one is my favourite drawer as well. It's all my words, sticky, you know, Tim Holtz words and, and other words as well. Not just Tim Holtz, they're all in there. Then this is just um, sort of a bits and bobs drawer, my glue gun, my tapes that I use in my journaling, uh, hole reinforcers, elastic bands, just bits and bobs in that one. And then I've got more acrylic paints in that one that I don't really use that much if I'm honest and then the very bottom is full of washes I'm not going to open that because it's a mess right I'm just going to get up slowly so that's my drawer unit I'll just turn around and give you sort of an overview of my desk just go around slowly So as you can see, it's a really big corner desk. I picked this up from Facebook Marketplace for nothing. My husband went to collect it last year. So, no, it was the year before, actually. I've had it for a couple of years and the lady was giving it away. We didn't think it would fit in here, but I've got everything that I want. I've got three shelving units. I've got one there with one, two, three, five shelves. I've got one next to it with four shelves. And then I've got this big one here in front of me where I work that I've got all my other bits on so I absolutely love this desk it just fits everything on so I'm gonna go a bit closer on the top shelf is just all stuff that I use in my journaling here uh, I've got my bits my other journals actually on top of there my altered book and my inspirational quote journal just some books that I grab from I've got a basket of stamps here that I use quite often they're like all vintage themed stamps and then I've just got some paper pads there that I'm trying to work through to use. And then on the end is my little box with all my blending sponges in. Now then, I've told you I've been doing quite a lot of organising because everything was a mess. It was just all in envelopes and it was just absolutely everywhere. So I bought all these plastic boxes. I'll go a little bit closer. Um, so we've got scrap papers, we've got words, ledger paper more scrap papers, coffee dyed papers that are sort of scraps, book pages and sheet music scraps, uh, what else have we got there? We've got fussy cut flowers, tickets and labels, Tim Holtz paper dolls and the found relatives are in there. 
and then as we go down I've got butterflies um, die cut flowers that are sort of pastel colours Tim Holtz botanicals and field notes big scraps and toppers all of the die cuts die cut flowers which are bright stamps vintage die cuts that one underneath is empty small scraps vellum flowers and birds and then we've got ephemera bits which are vintage vintage ephemera and tim holtz ephemera and i absolutely love it now i can see where everything is i can put my hands on it it's great it's took me a while to do but i'm much much happier with it now and it's all in front of me on my desk to reach down here i've got my sewing machine which i use quite a lot that's just on the end of my desk i can just pull it up to use when i need to the bottom shelf has got um they're sort of speciality pens these ones like gel pens and glitter pens and then this one is all my pens that i use for art journaling and glitter pens white pens and liner pens so they're all in there these are the punches that i go to most of the time um my tab punch my two inch oh sorry we're not even on camera there my tab punch my two inch circle punch um, corner punch my big circle punch these are the ones that i use more and more you know more frequently so they're right in front of me then i bought some of these from the works these suitcases i've got some on here and i've got some on the other shelves i'll show you in a minute you got three of them for 10 pounds they were all stacked inside each other so i've got lace embellishments and appliques in that one and then we've got small lace and small fabric scraps in that one this one here is my everyday inks. These are all my brown inks that I use every day and my blending sponges are in that one. That's my glue book. And then underneath the bottom I've got these. These are wooden alphabet stamps that I use. Oh, can't get the lid back on there. Then I've got some wet whites and then I've got some more inks, greens and browns that I use, you know, just handy on my desk. And then I've got all my paper clips and my clips that I use when I'm binding a journal together. So they're all in there. Okay, I'm just going to lift the, there's my lights that I've put grease, uh, parchment paper on to stop the glare. Okay, then I've got these little drawers here. These are... They're just tools at the top. Oops. Then we've got just bits of charms and just a bits and bobs draw, really. Then we've got all my watercolour pens. Then we've got glue sticks and some pins. I don't know what they're doing in there. They shouldn't be in there. This one I can't open because it's fit to bursting. Uh, pens and pencils. Right, these are all charms and book corners and eyelets and stuff in that one. And then in that one, again, is all my charms and bits and pieces that I use on my journals. Okay, I'm just going to go up a little bit. And then on top of there, I've got a stack of baskets that I grabbed, like, you know, to use regular. In this one, it's all my fancy flower trims. We've just got some tags and tickets. And then I've got some dried tea bags in that one. Not sure what's in the other ones. Let's have a look. I'm rubbish at this, I'm not. Right, we've got some more just ephemera that I've bought from AliExpress. Just all different bits and pieces in that one. Then we've got some tickets. Some flowers that are fussy cut from magazines. Some flowers that I've made and some of the words that I made. And then we've got my die cut flowers that I die cut. The Tim Holtz ones. So I'm just going to pop them back it's very difficult with one hand is it to do this i've never done this before for a long time right so moving round is my second shelving unit on the top this is all things i use a lot craft paper um napkins uh just different bits of you know serviettes different things that i use all the time that are just like handy that box there is my creative journaling box that I use if I fancy doing a bit of journaling. And then at the end we've got some clear stamps and I don't know what's in that little drawer cabinet. I think it's sequins. And then up the top there I've got some peg stamps and just some, um, what do we call them, laminator pouches. And then 
moving along oh i've got a thing on my wall there i made that one okay, so on the next shelf i've got these are all my fabric scraps just a big bag uh, well a big basket of all different fabric scraps that i can grab if i want to um, I've got another little plastic wallet here that's full of like cotton fabric scraps. The next basket is full of all my twine and some eyelash trim. And on the end is more different threads and twines there. And then moving down, that's just um, my gelatos, um, just some more colouring mediums in that one. And then these are the other suitcases that I was telling you about Um I've got coloured laces, medium lengths in that one. And then at the bottom, I have got rolls of, big rolls of lace, like different colour laces. And then this one is, uh, what's that one? Coloured crocheted lace. And then that's cotton, reels of cotton in there. And then moving down to the bottom is all my Nouveau drops. I've got a tray full of the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens that I use in my journaling. And then in the corner there, I've got some washes that I grab, you know, more, more often than the ones that are in the drawers behind me. And then on my desk there is just my everyday tool thing that I grab most of the time. Yeah, so coming round to the next shelving unit. Oh, I don't know what's in everything. I think that I've not finished sorting these out. That's all ephemera. I think. Then I've got my sari silk. Then I've got some cotton in there. This one, I'm not sure what's in this one. I've got to, I've not got around to doing this yet. These are, oh, they're all die cuts, stampery ones that go with the paper pads that I've bought. Put them back in a minute. Let's just go back up. Then I've got that like tray that's got um, CD folders, ATC plastic wallet things, um, serviettes. Just bits and pieces in there. Then I've got rolls of lace and fabric. Uh, rolls of lace, sorry, and tulle in that pink one. I don't really grab for them much. Then I've got my hessian and sari silk scraps in that one. And coming down, I've got my favourite stencils just hooked on the side of my desk there. They're the ones that I, sort of my go-to ones there that I use a lot. Then I've got my brushes and some inks. Then we've got... And um, this basket is what we got. Oh, these are sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Flowers, and then I've got lots of embellishments that were kindly sent to me uh, last year that I do grab at times. So that's that one. And then we've got tags, and we've got my spare adhesive thing that's just up there in case I run out of the one on my desk. Then I've got all my paper flowers. Then coming down, I've got my trimmer, uh, my stuff that I use every day in my junk journal, seam binding, cheesecloth, um, muslin, just different bits that I grab for in that one. Then so that's all my binding stuff, my needles and threads to bind my journals. This one is just all, I can't think I can get it off the shelf, I think it's stuck at the back. It's all trims, just fancy trims. And then I've got some eyelets and some safety pins in there. This is another yummy basket. This has got all my crocheted lacing. I love that basket. That's all in there. And then coming down is sort of my mixed media bits. This one is, if I can get it off, let's have a look what's in this one. I've got my Ecoline brush pens. I've got my Arteza gouache pens. My other paints, my Derwent watercolours. My Intex pencils, just all mixed media bits in that one. That's another one of my favourite baskets as well. Let's just pop that back. That tin underneath there has got loads of gems and uh, enamel dots and that in. I don't use them very much now. This one, then I've got my little, uh, what do we call it? Crocodile. This one again has got mixed media stuff in its paints, coloured pencils and my Jane Davenport colour sticks. And my watercolours are in that one. The next one is all stamps and dies that I use, you know, in my journaling, like, really often. I leave all them bits in there. And then this one is my... What have we got in here? I've got my Distress crayons and then just some tools and my blending brushes in there. Yeah, I've got an ink in there that shouldn't be in there, so I'll take that out. Put that up there. Let's just move that light. 
and then over there I've got my fancy edge scissors that I like to use so moving down oh on my desk there is my die cutting machine you can just see my bed in the corner there don't want to be getting that on and then I've got some spray sprays paints in that one uh, spare adhesive you know the foam tape and sticky pads in that one this is the one I use mostly that's got all my dilutions sh uh, shimmer sprays and that in so I've got more sprays there and then these are just a couple of inks that I use and my what do we call them uh, these things Tim Holtz distress paints in that one so that's there I've got my long arm stapler sticking out there and then these drawers I don't know whether I can show you in these I can show you this one this is my yummy drawer this is one of my favorite drawers in my craft room and I've got all my distress oxide inks I've not got the full collection as there's still a some need uh, there is still I some need to buy but um, yeah I love that drawer I'm not going to open that one because it's full to the brim of just well I'll show you it's just bits and bobs that I use and the bottom one's got all Christmas stuff in and then underneath my desk is quite a lot of storage it's mostly Christmas stuff that's all under the desk that I'm not using at the moment um, I've got a basket of they're just my plates off my die cutting machine that's a basket of you know other punches they're there uh, I've got these little set of drawers on top I've got my scoreboard and my cutter this one has got all my black inks and my stamping you know glass stamping blocks and some cloths this one has just got more inks and and some these are distress inks in there and some sponge dobbers and that one is all it's all glitter and the little and some spare wipes in there so i just leave my messy mat in there and then on the end i don't want to make it oh down there just spare cutting mats my towel that i use for mixed media my trays for doing my coffee dyed paper on I'm not sure if I can get in this cupboard. Uh, oh yeah, this is just another storage cupboard that has, oops, sorry, my heat guns fell, has all my bits of embellishments in that I don't need on a regular basis. So they're all, they're all my wooden embellishments and then that one's all my metal embellishments. That's a really handy cupboard, that one, even though I don't really go in there a lot, it's handy. So I'm just going to take my time and stand up again and i will pan round the room again so as you can see in fact i've got more space here than i have i did have when i had the little craft room so i'll just start up here just go back a little bit yeah so as you can see i've got plenty of room to work on now i've organized everything that's just like a full everything's there handy for me I'm just going to turn around. I've also got, I have that on the back of the door that's got some spare heat guns in, uh, glue guns and some sequins and a couple of punches. Yeah, so let me just go back again. So that's it then guys, that's my craft space. I am happy with it. I've got everything that I need around me. I don't need, you know, I've got the cupboard on the landing. I am going to have a big sort out in that cupboard and I'm going to de-stash a lot of my dies and stamps that I don't use. So, as always, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the little nosy round. It's not perfect, but it's mine and I enjoy being here, you know, in my craft space. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.